following on from my last video about people often <clears throat> not being able to tell whether you're male or female and then changing their mind, um, it's kind of opened my eyes a bit to the way that uh, sex is and the way people see gender. Because I used to think that there always had to be, there was always uh, something that gave people away. When I was trying to pass in the early stages, I always thought that there was something about me that was giving me away, maybe my chest wasn't flat enough, maybe my voice was too high, maybe I was talking too much, walking the wrong way, but these days I don't really think it's about that. I mean, I've been taking testosterone and the amount of differences are, I mean, I, I don't notice that many drastic differences, but the subtle differences are mounting up to an extent where the vast majority of people just assume that I'm a guy and don't give it a second thought. Um, especially if I say that I am. I mean, I don't mean just walking in and saying, I'm a guy. I mean, introducing myself by what is in this country an exclusively male name. And also on my CV, my sex is written as male. So people have that expectation in mind before they meet me. I think that affects something. But it's just, it, it seems like people's opinion changes from day to day. And not even from person to person. It's just, it's completely arbitrary. Let me give you a good example. There's this woman in Sainsbury's and I work in London and she works in Sainsbury's in London near where I work and I go there every day to get lunch and when I go to the checkout counter um, I've got there's five cashiers so I've got about one in five chance of getting her but every other time I see her she changes her mind some days she calls me sir sometimes she calls me madam and I don't think she remembers me, but what's really eye-opening is I don't look different from day to day. I look, as far as I can tell, about the same. It's her perception that's changing every day, and I find that really intriguing. I mean, I'm always wearing a suit, I'm always, you know, flat in the chest, I'm always clean-shaven, um, my voice hasn't, hasn't dropped a lot since I started working two months ago, um, but her uh, perception of me changes every day. And it just goes to show it's really not that uh, obvious a thing. And there are too many differences, little differences, for you to worry about. And I think before you start taking testosterone, you worry about everything, every little detail. You know, you, you cut your hair and you try and deepen your voice and you try and manlify your walk and your stand and wear all these different types of clothes and you know, take everybody's advice about every tiny little thing that you do because you're so desperate for someone to recognise you and you go through all this effort and nobody sees you as male anyway or female or whatever you want to be. So you might as well not worry about about that just concentrate on the hormones look forward to the surgery try and live your life try not to let it affect you when you don't pass and at the end of the day it is equally as much them as it is you and I think and if you confidently project yourself one way or the other you're more likely to affect their opinion than all, all these finickety details trying to change their perception of you like that you know wearing a tie doesn't make you a man or male so you can try it, but I would say do it if it makes you feel good. Don't do it if it doesn't help. Just go with whatever you feel is the most convenient, easiest option for you at that time. Whatever makes you feel most comfortable.